So you guys came into the show late in the later part of the series. Um, and I'm curious, even let's go back to your origin stories as actors with Supernatural. When you got the auditions for your roles, did you even know anything about the show or did you uh, have to do some research to find out what kind of a genre Supernatural was? So I've told this story many times, so forgive me if you're hearing it again, but it's, um, I, I remember, you know, you, you get an audition and most of the time it's just that. It doesn't, you know, you don't get the job. And maybe you audition for a show a handful of times. Well, when I got the audition for Supernatural, I was taking my kids to the park and it just came in my email and I was like, oh, that show's still on? <laughs> <laughs> I had never auditioned for it before, which is bizarre, because usually if you're right demographically for a show, you audition for it a handful of times before, you know, then the producers are like, all right, finally, we're gonna hire you. Um, but I had never auditioned for it. So I take my kids to the park and I'm reading in it. I'm reading the sides, which is our audition material. And um, if you guys remember my first episode, I get, um, uh, shot in the, I get my, I get stabbed in the back, I get shot in the face, and I get my head chopped off. That was my audition. And I was like, this oh. shit is ridiculous. <laughs> like, what, who is going to do this? And I literally had no idea how I was going to do this in the audition. I was just like, because <laughs> you're sat in a room, and it was Phil Sagrisha and another producer and the casting director all sat on this couch and I'm in the chair. And I literally, until it happened, I realized like, oh, I got stabbed. And, oh, I had like, <laughs> it was the physicality of it. And, and at the end of the audition, the, the casting director was like, that was a really hard audition. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I know. <laughs> Thanks a lot for picking that scene. <laughs> yeah. Cause sometimes I'm not sure they understand, like we actually have to bring it to life. Writers are very creative. And then you're like, but we have to actually do that. Um, so yeah, so, so that was, and I just thought it was gonna be one episode. Um, I think they thought it was as well. And then when they kept bringing me back, um, and then there was talk at one point, they were like, well, if we go with season 10, you know, maybe we'll bring you back. And I was like, good luck. <laughs> Who goes 10 seasons? So, maybe I shouldn't have said that. That's why they didn't bring me back. <laughs> anyway. and, and Jeffrey, what about you? Were yeah, you no, familiar at all? I wasn't familiar with the show, no. But uh, I got the, um, audition material and I loved the dialogue and I loved this character and for some reason it just like it just just poured off my tongue and like and I was able to I felt like I jumped into the character kind of really quickly and then uh, my audition scene was when the, basically his introduction when he walks in the room and, oh, I'm asked, and I pretty much kicked in the audition room door and walked <laughs> in with a suit and I just started the audition. I just started, I walked in going, I am Asmodeus. <laughs> and they're like, <laughs> it's a rule to such time as Lucifer returns with his son. And I could see him going. <laughs> and there's some auditions, as you know, that you know you got them, you know? And as soon as I started, I knew I had them. And they just like, and I kind of walked out and they're like, well, wait, 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 wait. Because I was walking out right after. Yeah, you're like, like, no, I'm done. Yeah, I'm yeah, out. No, I'm done. <laughs> That's and perfect. I'm done. Well, it's for the rest of y'all. <laughs> so, yeah, then, and then the rest is history, yeah. But I didn't know also, I thought it was a one episode thing too. And uh, I had a friend at a, I, I think it was my birthday a couple days after the audition. I was like, yeah, I feel like, I feel like my next gig is going to be this thing I did. And I said, Supernatural. And he goes, and he knew what it was. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, you need to get this because it's the gift that keeps on giving. And yes, it yes, is. It does. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. And how, as actors, do each of you prepare? I mean, part of the great thing about Supernatural is the characters are so, you know, broad and large. So a knight from hell, a prince from hell, how do you prepare for those type of roles, which are totally different, obviously, than us as humans? Are they? Yeah, are they? <laughs> are they? I think we all have a little demon in us. Mm -hmm. I mean, I didn't prepare any differently than than I would for anything else, really. I was, I, I really let the dialogue lead, and, and mm -hmm. this character just like I, it just, it just kind of came to life. I mean, you're you're afforded a little more liberty, I think, with mm -hmm. with a little a little 
broader, but I, you know, they're, they're, they're based in some reality. Right. <laughs> I think for me, it's the same approach I usually have to any character, which is just allowing them to become. And that's a combination of like the writing, um, the collaborative aspect of our business is, you know, it's wardrobe and hair and makeup and interactions with other characters. I really rely on like showing up in the sandbox and just kind of allowing. And I think it kind of has, um, you know, it has a, a great effect uh, where we all inspire each other. Because I'll talk to a lot of showrunners where they're like, oh, I'll start to write knowing the way you play a certain character. And then it becomes a collaborative element. Shonda Rhimes talks about it. Did you guys year, read my, my Year of Yes? She, uh, she talks about like the characters are like a threefold. It's like her, it's the character, and it's the actor who plays the character. And the three of them, and it's, it's really sort of this almost telepathic thing where we kind of create them um, in a system, I guess. Mm -hmm. 